Good morning, guys. Welcome to you. Today is Sunday. It's a day off for many, but not when you are a farmer. I'm learning to teach my kids through pressure and release. When they act crazy, I don't respond until they act kind. Yeah, that doesn't work for us. <laughs> it worked on Gabby just now. I just wanted to inform you guys before we get this vlog really going that we still have no baby goats. I know we're gonna have some though. No signs though, no signs of impending labor. A watch pot never boils. Okay, so. Wait, where did my carrots go? Before I forget, oh, this is the stuff that I bought. It's just a natural lubricant that I'm going to put in my kitting kit as the last piece. Now that I have it, I'm officially ready for baby goats. Wait, can we swap eggs? <laughs> what? How is that fair? How come every time I have something nice, one of my kids is like, mm, I like yours better. No, get back in there. All right, so today is no, the day. Get back in there. We are making the big move, and what did we decide? Look at this rooster. It's a hen, actually. Yeah, we decided that all of our four babies, I think all, all three of them are Look. hens. Look, it's and a bird rock. She, yeah, she's a bird rock. She's going to be super cute. She's a bird rock Easter egger. So today is the day that they're all God. Dang. That they're all moving out to the coop. So we're gonna go I out also there. I love this one. Look at this crop. We're gonna move a lot of things around and make room Look, for them. Look, they're all hens. Yeah, we think they're all hens. I thought we saw one was a rooster. This one. No, that's a, for sure a hen. Look at her tail. Oh yeah. They're probably all hens. How did we get so lucky? Oh, good thing I so I also want to do a little bit of work with Penny. If our goose is laying eggs, then the the goose that I want is laying eggs. So we're going there. Ask her. Ask my friend if she has any eggs? Yeah. We have to talk about it because I want- I'm getting that kind of goose. <laughs> I want a very specific kind of goose. Getting that kind of goose. And I don't want to just be hatching geese and having them, having too many. Look, she's already saying goodbye. She's like, I know you're leaving me. Yeah. She feels so sad. <laughs> Morning. I hey. took my clippers to Ellie and I cleaned her all up. Yes. I She's do you naked. not like it? She's naked now. She naked. is naked now, but she is a really, really messy dog. And she's gonna be cold. Can you hold her body? Yeah. Stop. Stop. So that's what she kind of looks like. I'm not finished. I like to do it in stages because she's still young. Uh, I'm really messy with her face. <laughs> she's so excited. She thinks she's going outside. All right, put her down. Does it have blue eyes? I don't know. I'm keeping that bar rock. I know. For sure. Eyes. For Hold sure. She has blue eyes. All right, come on, let's go. I want her to look a certain way, and a lot of times when you take Yorkies to get groomed, they they do not groom them the way I want her to look. So I like her to have a little bit more on her face. I'm still perfecting my method on her face and how I want her to look. So she does look a little messy. She does look a little messy, but I think we're all a little happier without her having too much hair. Now that it's super muddy out, Ellie having hair is just not good. Oh no, if I fall, they're all gonna go flying everywhere. I feel like our rooster's gonna be nice to the babies. I'm so excited to get the chickens out of the house. That's your favorite? One of my favorites. It's so cute. I like showing all the chickens are dad, mom. <laughs> but if I don't think mom, they care. Well, I care, and they seem happy to see their parents. All right, we're gonna do this. Except for some of them. And get everybody taken care of. Chicken chores seem to be like the biggest chore that we have right now, even more than the goats. Come here, come here, come I know, here. I love that chicken. No one's leaving. He's cute, but he's bullying. <laughs> so, Sophie and I are not good to do a job together. <laughs> I said we take a break and go pee. <laughs> go pee. <laughs> Will you wait for me? Yeah. I got attacked. Because this is I'm not going to go very well. Chicken wounds. So we have a mama chicken that... Just leave it. Okay, hurry up. We have a mama chicken that raised two chicks. And one is a girl and she's really sweet and the other one is a boy. And I went to pick him up and oh, he just bit into me, like bit me. And we were so shocked. I think it's the first time I've ever been bitten by a chicken. That Sophie and I, whenever we get nervous or scared or have any emotion other than, well, anytime we have any excessive emotion, we like laugh hysterically, like pee your pants laughing. So yeah, we just did that. So he's gonna pee now. We're in the process of moving things around in here to utilize the space that we have. Oh, it's 
hard. It's All right, fine. so everybody. Beef with the rooster. I know. Stop fighting that rooster. Stop, Ellie. Sophie let Ellie out. She wasn't supposed to come out. Ellie. Ellie. See how she doesn't. She gets distracted and she can't focus. Get away from that rooster. Get away. Get away. She's like, I don't know. You. Come on, away from the rooster. Away. Get. Get. Get outside. Come on. Let's go out. Good girl. Good girl. So we are officially done with chickens for the season. H hatching chickens. Everything that we're going to have this year, minus a few that we're going to buy, are in the coop. No, go ahead and close it. Half of them are going to leave because half of them are baby roosters. Or at least there are quite a few baby roosters. So half of them will leave and I make room for a few others. <laughs> Daisy was peeking out the door. All right, so we're gonna head down to the goat barn and put this, put my stuff in my kit. Now that I have everything ready, I have a theory that our goats are about to start kidding. Look at Storm's blanket. I know, Storm is not good on blankets. They're always crooked on him. Storm always has naps in the winter. Yeah, it's because he lays down a lot, whereas like our girls mostly lay down at night. <laughs> Did you guys see it's warm enough they're coming out into the snowy area, but they all are missing us. <laughs> all right, this means we're ready. We are officially ready. I am obsessed with our camera systems because I'm able to watch every single thing that happens. Wow, they like carrots. What the heck? Sophie, they love carrots. Come here. This is my favorite, Mama. She, oh, she doesn't like them. What? Oh, she loves them. Wow, I can't believe it. This is the first time that our goats have ever liked another food. Here, my gums. Okay, well, she's Yeah, they don't like it. See if the baby, if her baby likes it. Hold on. You want to be something? She doesn't like them. Only Tilly does? Only Tilly. Let's see if her Tilly's baby likes them. Wait, Come on, your mama likes like them. them. No. <sighs> she smells it and like, no. Wow. This is such a good thing for us to bond with, me and Tilly. Oh, okay. Yeah, he'll eat anything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I can't get over that. You like them. You want to take care of Oh, she gobbled it up. Oh, you get it up? Oh, you get it off, you hurt. You're so scared. We love you. Hi, Schmuckums, I love you too. Hey, Schmuckums. <laughs> That's her name, Schmuckums. Ow. <laughs> She's such a pig. She's like, this is my last meal before I give birth. I'm more sore tomorrow now. My so legs are probably cut up because of you. Sophie's still sore from her ride. See, look how good I did it. Yeah, you, Sophie, did a really good job shaving. Someone said, ask our friends how to do it, but there's really only one clear way to do it. You just do it. And we did a lot of research on, on what other people do. No, because I've seen videos of, like, people checking their goat's udders, and then it looks exactly like how I shave it. Yeah, I know. Well, we did it exactly the way. Okay. There's only one way you can shave a goat for, a for birth, Rocky. to prepare for birth. She's like, I don't really like it. She hates everything. I know. She's such a fussy fuss. She loves us being down here, though. Like, the fact that this goat is all over us just makes me so happy. Because until we discovered carrots, she's never really, like, Ow. come up to us. Oh, come on. It doesn't even hurt. It does. Give Rocky one. No, because you told me to save my carrots. Don't oh. give them all your carrots. You need them for your horse. Not bad. Look, this boy's all over me too. Ow, ow, I can't support both of you. Sophie is the goat magnet. I can't support both of you. I'm being pushed, okay. Please? I like looking at their bellies. You gotta pet her, then we'll work her with the carrot. All right, so this is the plan. Let's go to the horses. Wait, hide your carrots. But the problem is they smell. They smell this from a mile away. This boy. We'll be all back, all baby. All of babies are friendly. All of Mocha's babies are friendly. That's and why. And heavy and thick and fat. <laughs> he 
<laughs> like who me? Who are you talking to? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> look, look at all this hair though. I uh, know he's got a lot of hair. The fact that our mama, our white mama, as soon as we said like we're probably gonna get rid of her, boom, she's like, here, let me get up on the on the milking stand. Here, feed me treats. I'll be nice to you. She's well, really I, starting I mean, to turn around though. Maybe we spoke. You, we're not. <laughs> maybe we spoke too soon. Men mooter. So we wanted to come in this area with our horses, but we didn't want the other horses to follow us. Wait, what? If we came in this, there, no, I want to do it in this little area. In the field. Why? Because it's better. And we don't I'm not. The footing is terrible right now. Do you guys remember when I used to do Penny and Laura Sundays? Well, today is Sunday, and today I wanted, I want to like start working with my horse. The only problem is that there's not really any good place to work with our horses here. And we've been like spoiled for a long time having an indoor arena. I know like a lot of Western people just go outside and work with their horses. Anyways, um, I want to target train my horse. She already knows it. I want to work on her a little bit. I want to work on it with her a little bit before the season starts, just a reminder. So we're going to come over here. Hold my horse for a sec while I go get more treats. She looks so cute, furry. I leave the TV get her to lay down. She just laid down by herself. I can take 
This is something that Sophie's been working on with Willow for like years. Good girl. Okay, let's see if I can get her to do it. All right, come on, girl. Target. Good girl. It's because it's hard to push them all and face it. So yeah, this is such a good thing. Good girl. This is such a good thing for her because she loves to chase a ball. So if I can get her to follow the target, hold on. Good girl. What's really cool about this activity is that I can actually, <laughs> whoa, I don't have any more target. What's really cool about this activity is that it can be changed. You can do this while you're riding a horse. I honestly miss working with my mare. I miss having the arena. It might not seem like that big of a deal. When you're dealing with snow and ice and stuff like that, it's, and cold temperatures, it's not the same as being in our little arena, our old little arena. I feel like she just loves the mental stimulation of being out of the field and <laughs> exploring. You have to go back with the, you have to go back. You have to go back, Pen. Come on. Those are frozen bananas. <laughs> Oh, that was the most fun of life I've ever had. The next time I come out, I'm gonna come out by myself. So I can have the whole little space in there, that whole little area, and work with my girl because I enjoyed so that. Sassy, I, I enjoyed that more than she enjoyed it, probably. How are you shedding a little bit? I know they're all shedding. We gotta give them a good brush. She wouldn't be staying in a circle if she didn't want to get worked. Look, if she didn't like it. Yeah, she understands this. It's good that she understands it. And she thinks of it like as something fun to do with her owner. Like she Although I have to use the noise scare to actually move. Yeah. So she's like, look, she's looking for a treat. She's like, give me a treat now. Don't you know that you're beautiful?